Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. In today's video, I'm going to show y'all some new products that I've just received. We're going to do some thrift flips and I'm going to show you some really pretty styling tips for your home. These can be for spring and summer or they can be throughout the year. So I hope y'all enjoy the video and get lots of ideas and inspiration for your home. Okay, let's get started y'all. The first project is going to be a thrifted piece and anytime I see wall decor or anything like this out in the thrift store, I usually pick it up if it's a good price. This one was $6.99 and I love the wood palette look it had to it. This is the back of it, so I went back and forth of which side I wanted to use. I really didn't want to go over this little Bible verse because I loved it, but I did write it down and I'm going to tape it on the back so I'll always have it. Now I went over it with a couple layers of white linen chalk paint and now I'm going to show you some beautiful transfers that I just received. And I'm going to leave a link for these transfers down below, but they are by Essential Stencils. But I could not pass up these cows because if y'all have followed me along for very long, y'all know I love cows and especially Highland cows because out where we live, cows are some of... <laughs> are some of my closest neighbors. We have lots of fields out here and they're loaded up with cows. So I absolutely love them. I love their character, their personality. So I could not pass these transfers up. What I love about these transfers are they're very large. So they make great designs for these pieces that I've picked up at the thrift store that I'm going to, you know, upcycle to make some pretty wall decor for spring and the summertime. Now I'm going to, these transfers are just like any other transfers. You just peel off the white backing and then you go over it with a, with a transfer tool and you just apply it to your base. Now these applied really well to this piece of wood that I had and I wanted to show too that I stenciled some wording down at the bottom and I'll have this stencil link down below. But I just wanted a little bit of wording down at the bottom just to give him, you know, a little bit more filler on this board because this board was pretty large but I think he turned out so pretty and now I've got a great piece that I didn't spend a lot of money on but I customized it for my home and when I turn it around I can always read a class Ecclesiastes 412 a cord of three strands is not easily broken. I want to show y'all another little mirror that I picked up at the thrift store and I love to pick up smalls but this could be an idea for any size mirror. This one is small and I paid 59 cents for it. Now instead of painting the mirror side I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to paint the back side of the mirror and I'm also going to paint the little wood frame. Now I'm just going to go over it with a couple of coats of white linen chalk paint. Once it dries I'm going to go in with a little rabbit, and this is a piece of a decoupage paper that I had left over. It had a lot of little rabbit graphics on it, so he was left over from that. I already had him cut out, and I thought he would work really well on the size of this little mirror. I'm just going to apply him using some DIY liquid patina. I'll put this back in the frame, and this is how easy it was to upcycle a small little mirror. You know, like I say, you can use this little idea on any size mirror. I also want to add the tray and the beads will be linked in my Amazon store. The next project is going to be another thrifted piece and I'm just going through my things that I already have on hand that I've picked up and I always I always have pieces like this on hand. As you can see this was a piece from Hobby Lobby 
The original price on this was almost $80, but I picked it up at the thrift store, and I think I paid $2.99 for it or $3.99, but I'm going to take the inside of it. Somebody had covered a mat with, I think, a pillowcase. I'm going to remove that and just throw that away. Now I'm going to go over the glass. I cleaned it really good first, and then I'm going to go over it using some Rust-Oleum flat spray paint, but you can use any kind of white or colored spray paint that you want. Once I got that covered and it dried, I brought it back inside, and now I'm going to do an equal part water, equal part milk paint. I did three tablespoons of each. So I'm just going to mix that up, and the consistency of milk paint, you want it to be kind of like a melted milkshake. Now once I got that stirred up, <clears throat> I'm going to apply that to the outside of my frame because I want a really rustic and chippy look. Now I give it a good coat, I went all the way around, and the secret to milk paint is you want to apply heat to it. If you have a heat gun or a blow dryer, put that on there and you will see the crackling and the distressing happening right before your very eyes. Now you can do the drying method on the first coat or your last coat, but it will get your paint off and you can get as much distressing as you desire. A lot of times you'll get a lot of distressing so if you don't want that, you'll have to go back in, maybe add a little chalk paint just to fill in those areas. Once I got the distressing the way I wanted it, I went around the whole mirror and I cleaned it up. I used my little razor blade to remove any paint and then I went over it with some window cleaner and I cleaned it up really well. Now this is what the mirror looks like. And if y'all have never used milk paint, I think you'll be very happy with it because it gives you such chippy results and I'm going to leave a link to the milk paint that I used down below. Now once I got my frame the way I wanted it, now I'm going to go in with a transfer. Now these transfers are about to be discontinued, so this is why I kind of wanted to bring along this project to y'all because I've already purchased this last year, but you get a pack, I think, of three or four transfers are absolutely beautiful in this package and this is one of them but i'm going to leave a link to these um, transfers down below and they're also listed in my amazon store so if you want these now is the time to get them before they get discontinued and we can no longer buy them i don't know what i do without you Now the next project, I'm going to use the other cow. In this transfer package by Essential, Essential Stencils, you got two cows. You got the Highland cow, and then you've got, I don't know what kind of cow he is. I'm just going to call him a regular cow. But I love both of them. But on this piece that I had in my supplies, and I also got this at Goodwill, and it is more of a palette look, and I paid $2.99 for it. Now I'm going to go over it with white chalk paint. I'm not going to distress it, but I could, you know, if I wanted to. But I went over it with a couple layers of white linen chalk paint. I let it dry. I brought it back inside, and now he is ready. It is ready to apply this beautiful Highland cow. Now, I'm going to apply it again using a um, transfer tool. You just want to work it down on your base really well. Once it adheres to your base, just lift up the sheet. And then you want to cut a little sheet, rub over it, and this is called burnishing. This just makes sure that your transfer is adhered to your base really well. I'm just going to share with y'all some unique styling ideas of things you may have around your home or at the thrift store you find at the thrift store. I found this beautiful white crackled um, bowl and it was $2.99 and I think I got it on half price day. But another thing that you can do with beautiful white dishes when you find them out is you can use them for decor pieces. You can decorate them with vintage books and vintage items and set them out in your vignettes and they add such a great different kind of character and texture to your vignettes for spring and summer. 
a couple of more decor pieces that I've had in my stash since last year were these two. I guess these are ducks. And I got these last year at the thrift store. They are not anything that is, um, you know, valuable. I think they're like telefloral. They used to have, you know, the florist put flowers in them. All I did was I painted them white, refreshed them. And now I'm just going to give you some styling ideas of how you can add little um, pieces of greenery and florals to them and just set these out. And I think these are absolutely beautiful for the spring and the summertime. I just need you, I don't know what it is you do, I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do, I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old, just tell me you'll stay or take me away, I want you for myself every single day. I also want to add here that this little chippy swan is also listed in my Amazon store. Next item is going to be a dollar store project, but this was my inspiration. This was on Pinterest, and I thought, you know what? I think I have all the supplies to make this, and it was very easy to make. So I'm going to share with you real quick of how I made this. I'm going to use a piece of garland that I got at Hobby Lobby, and if you go on Half Price Week, you can always get this half price. It's one of my favorite garlands. I'm using a little grapevine wreath that I got at Dollar General, and it was $3, but you can also pick these up at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take pieces of my garland because you want this wreath to be a little bit wispy and um, you just kind of, you want to be able to see some of the grapevine wreath up under it so you don't want to put it on really thick. So I just kind of cut pieces, I went around it and where I needed to, I just added it with wire. You could also hot glue it on if you wanted to, but I did not want to damage my wreath or my greenery. Now I just worked my way all the way around the wreath until I got it covered and I got the desired amount of greenery on it. Now a lot of these grapevine wreaths, they already have wire around them that holds the grapevine together. So that was a great component for me to stick this greenery up under it and, and just hold it in place. So once I got all the way around it, then I'll secure all the greenery on it really well, kind of shape it out, and then I'm going to add a little bird nest. Now, I had a little nest already on hand. I added just a little bit of Spanish moss to it, and you'll want to add a few eggs and attach that to your wreath. And this wreath was that easy to make. So I'm going to show you some styling tips and give you some ideas of something that I feel like a lot of us have because these are very um, 
popular at the thrift store and you may already have some of these in your decor at home. I picked this one up for one dollar but it's just a silver plated tray. But just to give you more ideas you can add some lace to these or a hanger. Hang these on the wall and add vintage pictures to them. You can add vintage postcards. Just decorate it any way you want to. So just another idea for silver plated trays that you may have on hand. Hang those on the wall and add a decorative touch to your home. You can also use some solo wood flowers and some vintage items to, you know, display in your home. And I'm going to have a link down below if you're interested in solo wood flowers. You, if you do not have any of these on hand for your projects, I highly recommend these. I have used these on so many projects and they are such great pieces to use in your decor. Another quick styling tip for some silver plated items that you may have on hand and these like I say so along with the trays these pictures are a lot of times you can find these in the thrift store but take your thrifted or you know your picture if you have one on hand get some Kleenex out of the box I just grabbed a I don't know a section of them wrap them roll them around and have them where when you pull one up the next one comes up stick those down in your picture and now you've got a great little decor piece that you can style your Kleenex and tissues at home It's funny, y'all, that I end with this project, the Kleenex. I don't know if y'all have noticed throughout the video, but I truly apologize with my voice. I have struggled this week with what their doctor called the crud. So I'm a little bit nasally congested, and I apologize. But I did get the, the video done, and I just wanted to come on. I always love to conclude with y'all and at least tell y'all in person how much I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that, you know, you hit that red button. Make sure to hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload another video and we stay connected. As always, I love y'all, appreciate y'all, and I hope all of y'all are doing well.